What's up everyone, it's your boy Rad 89 here bringing you another rad movie review today to talk, of course, Godzilla Minus One. We have a new Godzilla film out in the theaters and this is a Toho produced Godzilla film, so Japanese one. This isn't connected to the American ones, the Godzilla 2014 or Godzilla vs. Kong or the Godzilla X Kong or whatever that's coming out next. It's not connected to any of those ones, so this is a different story a different universe so today you're going to hear my thoughts on this film the positives the negatives the rating and then i'm going to send you all home so let's do this roll it So we have a new Godzilla film that is gracing the big screen, Godzilla Minus One. And this one takes place in a post-apocalyptic kind of Japan war going on. It's a period piece going all the way back to right after World War II, following, like said, Japan after their like war just has riddled the whole entire country, basically, and bombed and like destroyed a lot of the areas. And now they even have to deal with Godzilla emerges. So I think it's fascinating. This is one, like I said, uh, there's a lot to talk about. So let's just get right into the positives. I know I'm excited. I'm kind of rambling right now. And like you see me all going off because I'm excited. This was a really fun ride. And one key positive, my main positive right now, we're going to bring it up, is the sound design and the sound mixing in here. Oh my God. This is one of the greatest kaiju movies I've ever seen in terms of sound mixing and sound design. It's so creative. It really puts you there. It's so immersive. Godzilla's footsteps, the sound of the atomic blast, the, the jets and the bombs going off and everything. It's just really in your face and really potent and like, oh man, just had me on the edge of my seat. Another thing is our special effects. The special effects are off the charts. Godzilla has looked looks so fantastic has never really looked better and i'm quite shocked and unfathomable can't imagine in my mind how they got this film done for under 20 million dollars because when you watch this film in terms of the graphics and the way godzilla looks it looks like a film that had a budget of like a hundred million or more we also have some really good character moments and some potent ones it's emotional the story is very engaging very gripping and i like that factor is that these are characters that you don't mind spending time with it's a story that you you want to see the resolution to so and there's characters in it that have you know triumphs but there's also tragedy so really this film has a lot to offer and that's why i love it is i know a lot of people out there are going to be kind of hesitant to go see this because it's a subtitle type film and you have to read subtitles but i'm like urging people out there you really need to check this out on the big screen because this is a true treat it has really good score to the music and all that they find a way to use the old Godzilla theme but also have a new theme as well mixed in it and I think that's fantastic really that adds to the atmosphere and the ambiance of this movie so needless to say, Godzilla Minus One really came out of like kind of nowhere. Like I really had no idea this film was coming out till closer to the production of it being released and me being an avid lover of Godzilla. Like I still to this day have some Godzilla VHSs in my room from when I was a child. I've been watching Godzilla for my whole entire life and this is easily one of the best Godzilla films out there on this planet Earth for real. Like there's so much to love about this movie, the pace of the movie. Like I said, the cinematography, it looks gorgeous, the special effects, and a lot of it's shot during the day. There are some nighttime sequences, but not a lot. So I think a lot of people are gonna appreciate the fact that you can see what's going on because a lot of it takes place during the day. And I think that's gonna be a very huge positive for a lot of people. And just, I like the fact also that it's paced very well. There's good story moments and a good enough time where you spend time with the characters to care enough about them but then it goes right back into some awesome kaiju action and we get you know action on land we get action in the water you know under the water so there's a lot of different variations of stuff and i know some people might be see like think oh wash rinse repeat we've seen all that done before and everything but i think this film really does come up with also some creative things when we get to that third act as well this movie comes up with some really creative ideas to deal with kaijus. I don't want to spoil anything that I haven't seen done before. So I think this film really has some new elements, new techniques that they brought to the table. And like I said, I, for right now, sitting in front of you, cannot believe that they got this film done for under $20 million. So yes, Godzilla Minus One. This film came in and just uh, wiped the floor with like 90% of the movies that came out this year. Because right now, like as it sits... This is probably sitting in my top 10 of the year. This is a banger of a movie and one that I'm struggling to find negatives with. And really the only negative I have with this movie 
is a personal preference thing. It's more of me being a huge Godzilla lover. It's like just a preference thing is that I prefer my Godzilla to be an anti-hero. A Godzilla that's on the side of the humans, of course, does cause damage and collateral damage sometimes, but is there to mainly protect the Earth and is on the side of the humans and teams up with Angoros and teams up with Mothra and stuff and Rodan to fight, you know, Gigan and Ghidorah and all that kind of stuff. That's more of my kind of Godzilla. I grew up on the late 70s, you know, to mid 80s type Godzilla stuff. So that's my preference. This is a film that I know I'm not, I'm not spoiling anything. This is a film where Godzilla is your lead antagonist. It is humans against Godzilla, Godzilla against us, you know, a very huge threat. So I know there's a lot of people out there that prefer this kind of version of it because this is a true monster film. This is a true like horror film kind of Godzilla movie. But me as just a personal preference from growing up as I was as a child, I do like the anti-hero version of Godzilla more. But now we got to discuss the rating. You all want to know what the rating for this bad boy is going to be. And in my book, Godzilla Minus One is going to get a rad rating of a 9 out of 10. This is a banger of a movie. And like I said, one I highly, highly urge everyone out there to go check this out in theaters. Because this is going to be a fantastic watch for real. This is a total popcorn flick and it's got a lot of emotions it's got you know good triumph and it's got good graphics and it's loud and it's in your face so this is a movie you're definitely going to want to see on the big screen so a 9 out of 10 very solid respectable rating and please let me know down in the comments section what you think of Godzilla minus one if you've seen this film so we can discuss down below or if you're a lover of Godzilla what are some of your favorite Godzilla movies so we can all chit chat and everything because that's some of the best things is that there's so many different versions of Godzilla out there that there's a lot of different ones you can love. So thanks for sticking around with me. I'll please drop a like on the video. That definitely helps out the channel. If you're new, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a thing and have that notification bell poke so you're notified anytime I post a video. But most importantly, I want y'all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out.